excited to walk you through how to make a simple um, strand of Anglican prayer beads. Anglican prayer beads can be used to guide your hand and keep your mind focused as you are praying different scriptures or um, Anglican prayer beads prayers. Um, today I'm going to go through how to make this simple one here. This one just includes some glass sea beads in between um, if you want to add some color or personalization to your um, beads. But once you get the basic process, you should be able to easily make um, some more creative beads as you go. Before we get started, I wanted to talk you through just the supplies that we'll be using. First of all, I have a synthetic kind of leathery looking um, strand that we'll be working with. We have a regular cross bead. This larger bead will be used for the bead of invitation and for the four cruciform beads. And then this smaller bead will be used for the seven weeks beads. I have found it helpful when using string. You want to take a lighter and just kind of seal off the end here to um, prevent fraying. That can be really helpful um, to prevent frustration with that. So those are the supplies that we'll be using today. If you want to do a more intense angle cane bead, you can add some pretty colored sea beads in between as well. To get started with, we are going to set the bead of invitation and the first cruciform bead. To do that, you're going to string it through once and then loop it around like this, leaving a little bit of a tail here because we're gonna come back and add in the cross later on. So this is gonna be the bead of invitation. We're gonna grab another big bead and this will be your very first cruciform bead. We'll have four cruciform beads total with seven weeks beads in between those. Now that you have those two set, make sure they're nice and snug with each other and you've got a little bit of a tail here. Then you'll take the small seven weeks beads and you will strand them on next. Now that you have your seven weeks bead set, you're going to put in your next cruciform bead. So this is your second cruciform bead. You're going to do it the exact same way you did the bead of invitation and your first cruciform bead. You'll make a little loop, loop it around, and push it down as close as you can to the week's beads. necessarily have to make that loop if that's confusing to you but it does help keep things nice and tight. Um, once you've done that you're gonna put on three more sets of weak speed so you'll have four total. A weak speed, cruciform, weak speed, cruciform, weak speed, cruciform, weak speeds and then you'll loop it back here. Now that you have all of your weak speed sets you are going to take the cruciform and weak speed that you did to start with now pick that up and you're gonna just thread this through both of those beads until it comes out the other end like this. I just threaded it through this hole here. I did it through both of them. Now the last step is to add in your cross. So you can add in your cross, do a double knot here. Make sure it's nice and snug. Um, you can do a double or a triple knot just to make sure it stays nice and tight. And then when you're done, you can just trim off the excess and you have your prayer bead ready to go. 